Hi everybody, my name is Scott Whitlock. I'm the president of Flexware Innovation, here to talk a little bit about the space that Flexware plays in, inside manufacturing environments, helping them become more efficient. So this is kind of a hierarchy diagram invented by Dr. Theodore Williams from Purdue University. It was originally called the Purdue Reference Model, and now it has been adopted by an international standards body called ISA, and it's called the S95 model. So in this model, there are five levels to describe how systems hook up to each other. So I won't read them all to you. You can go look up the different acronyms, but essentially I'm gonna draw some pictures here on how things hook up inside the manufacturing environment. In this PLC and automation layer, we have these devices called PLCs and they are programmable logic controllers and they tie into sensors out in the world or in the factory or could be in the oil gas field or wherever, simple limit switch drawn here. But we're looking at thermal couples, you know, pressure sensors, all kinds of inputs and outputs that tell us what's going on in the environment that we're monitoring. And then the PLC can make decisions about what to do in those situations. On top of that, we have PCs, my little PC with a keyboard here. And that PC is representing what's going on in the world through graphs, charts, diagrams, pictorial pictures of vats and tanks and pumps and lines. And, and so these are typically tied together on a network today. In today's age, it's usually an ethernet network. Um, and, and that's how we're getting an idea of what's going on in the real world, in the factory, on the line, with the batch, um, et cetera. On top of that, we have now this um, more of a database architecture, um, higher level system called manufacturing execution systems, which is really why Flexware started 20 years ago, was to be an integrator in this MES space and, and including all of this, these other levels. And so we have these databases with lots of data in them um, and collecting information about what's happening in, in the factory, in the environment. And then on up here and with ERP, that's usually where your, your dollar signs are your inventory, um, lots of things, everything, maintenance, all kinds of things are stored up in the enterprise resource planning space. Um, and again, this is kind of the hierarchy uh, of the systems inside the plants and the space that Flexware plays in. So one of the things that we did from a model perspective on top of this at here at Flexware is we talk about three different uh, kind of flows of information. There's a, a planning flow that really is how how does a schedule or the demand for product flow down into the operator, down onto the shop floor, onto the factory floor? And, and so we talk about dispatching schedules and maybe a schedule would show up here on an operator's terminal, what they're gonna make, how many quantities they're gonna make, things like that. And it would show up on these screens and an operator would be able to start and stop orders, pause orders and, and, or batches, things like that. We talk about an execution flow, which is kind of the next flow. And in execution, we're talking about information that's coming down out of these MES systems and ERP systems that tell us how to make the product that we're making. It might be work instructions, recipe parameters, different, uh, you know, maybe quality parameters and things like that that would allow us to make a good quality product. And then the final flow is a monitoring flow. And that is where we're just really trying to see how are we performing today, measuring you know, speeds, feeds, quality, scrap, um, yields, uh, operator performance, machine performance, all kinds of things. It's really what I call the how am I running screens. And oftentimes that would actually flow back into ERP or it might, you know, be shown in a factory on a TV screen somewhere um, where we're just seeing these, these and-on displays or these TV displays to show how we're running. So in addition to the S95 standard in these five levels, uh, Flexware layers on these three flows, the planning, execution, monitoring flow, and it really aligns with our teams here at Flexware as well. So we have an automation integration team that kind of focuses down here in integrating these layers, HMI, SCADA, and PLC. We have a software development team that writes custom software and integrates software kind of in the planning and execution on into the monitoring phase. And then we have a business intelligence team that really focuses more on the monitoring and, and displaying of the information that comes out of these flows. So, so if you're interested in learning more about the model or how we address this for our customers, we'd love to have you visit our website at flexworenovation.com and learn more about it. I don't know, I was just thinking that's probably a funny chapter of my life. I didn't make the Purdue Glee Club. I wanted to be in the Glee Club singing. And I always loved music, still love music. And 
I don't know, I just thought it would be kind of fun. <laughs>